guys and welcome to this new war commentary. Today I'm gonna review all the Valentine weapons for you. That's right, all of them. And the first one is the K1. And as you can see, this K1 looks really lovely and cute. It is pink and it has some hearts on it, some flowers. It's a really cool design. There's also a scope on it, but we don't really need that scope because the K1 is already good without a scope, but with the scope it's even better. So yeah, that's the first weapon guys. And the next one is the Vector. Let me show you it right now. There we go. And as you can see, this Vector has a scope and that makes it really really powerful it has the same design as the uh, k1 but this one has a little uh, white part on it as you can see wait it's gonna do the animation again there we go you see a little white part there on the uh, weapon as well the accuracy of this factor makes it really deadly in small scaled maps like rusty nails and banished garden also lost temple but also in the explosive maps like kali karakum kyber of course and all the other cqc maps so this weapon is a must have compared to the k1 so i would go for the factor instead of the k1 since the factor is really op compared to the k1 k1 is more for esl players so if you are watching as an esl player you can use the k1 if you are allowed to i'm not sure anyway uh, let's go to the next one and that's the minigun yep i'm back with the heavy trooper and now you can see this very pinky pinky minigun and it looks very very cute like all the other guns do but this gun is really overpowered since in battle group you can destroy almost every helicopter with it like the MDs or the Apaches. But you can also destroy vehicles with it like uh, motorcycles, Humvees, trucks, maybe also tanks. I'm not sure about that. So the battle group players who are watching right now confirm that if you can destroy... Uh, a tank with a minigun and of course you can also use it in zombie mode but that's not a secret for you guys right it's a really really nice gun to use in zombie mode the only problem with the minigun is that it's empty really quick but um, killing the crushes with it or the chariots is no problem for this minigun anyway let's go to the next one and that's the f2000 for the assault let's go so yes here i am with the assault and as you can see it runs really quick because this f2000 is really lightweight uh, let me run once more as you can see you run pretty fast with this gun. The gun looks really nice and it has also a scope on it. The F2000 is a rare weapon in Warwick. So if you want to try this weapon out, grab your chance for sure. It has also uh, flowers on it and hearts. That's not really uh, a surprise anymore since I also said it with all the other weapons. In my opinion, the F2000 is one of the best weapons for the assault next to the Scar L Camo, the Scar H uh, Blue and the FAMAS of course. But this one has a really nice scope and makes it really easy for you to kill people in, for example, close quarters combat or battle group. But on battle group, I would go for the small scaled maps and not the big ones. So anyway, let's go to the last weapon, one of the most feared weapons of course, and that's the VSS. Here I am with the last weapon of today and that's the VSS Valentine. And as you can see, it has some flowers on it, also hearts, but also um, a rainbow on the back, as you can see. And also rainbows on the sides of the weapons, as you can see here. And it has also a heart on the scope that looks really cutie cutie. And well, everyone knows this weapon is really overpowered. Um, it's a really nice weapon to no scope with. It has been nerfed, but it's still really good to play with. And that are all the weapons I wanted to review today. I'm sorry that I wasn't really talking about the stats because I'm not really a weapon expert. So I can't really tell much about that. I'm sorry, guys. So anyway, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, of course. If you uh, didn't subscribe yet, then please subscribe if you like this video. And that's it, guys. And as always, say, and I see you guys next time.